All right, everybody, we are going to be grading quiz for chapter 22 and 23, Arist Week quiz. We are very excited. I'm very excited about the Arist. And I hope you had a good week um, learning this very prevalent tense. And so let's start out with some vocab. Um, dunamis is power. Caruso is I preach. Eti is yet. Thelo, I wish, I will, I desire. Didasco, I teach. Sophia is wisdom. Meno, I remain, I abide. Egero, I raise up. Kaleo, I call. Oida, I know. So what are the four parts? That's 10 possible points. If you do not get one correct, circle it or mark it or something like that, and we'll mark at the end. We'll mark incorrect, the number incorrect at the top, as well as the number correct over 100. That's what we are going to be looking at here. Okay, let's look at grammar. What are the four parts of the aorist active verb? So the first aorist active verb. Aorist begin with an augment. We get an aorist active stem and then a sigma alpha tense formative along with secondary active endings. So it's a first aorist active augment, aorist active stem, tense formative, sigma alpha tense formative, and secondary active endings. Um, and so, um, if you missed one, then mark it incorrect, and, um, and we'll move on, okay? What are the four parts of the second aorist active verb? The second aorist active verb. So, in this case, we recognize that these are first aorists use the saw tense formative, whereas second aorist actives use a stem change, okay? So, we have an augment, like we do with aorist verbs. We have an aorist active stem, which is a change. You don't have to put a change there, but an aorist active stem is what we have. There is no tense formative. We have a connecting vowel, and then we have secondary active endings. So, um, so if we go back up here um, with our first aorist, we notice that it would be elu sa men, okay, augment, Aorist active ending, saw tense formative, secondary active endings. And then our second aorist, we have to use lambano, so we do augment, lambano, it's aorist stem, connecting vowel, secondary active endings. Okay? So um, there we have it. Okay, let's move on to what happens to a stem whose final consonant is a stop when it's followed by the first aorist tense formative. So we're talking about the saw tense formative up here. And we're talking about what happens when it meets a labial. And what happens is all of these, the P, the beta, and the phi, turn into a psi. And so it looks like psa. A key, a kappa, gamma, or ki, a velar, turns into a kasi, and it becomes ksa. And then a dental drops out, tau, delta, theta drops out, and we just get the sigma. So we're just looking for these on this we're just looking for C, C, uh, sigma, and that's really all you really need for this one. So, but if you don't have that or something like that, then mark it incorrect. That's worth three possible points. Okay, let's keep going to the next page. What is the tense formative for a liquid aorist? Uh, not a sigma alpha, just an alpha. So that's all we're looking for there, liquid aorist. Liquid aorists are verbs with stems that end in either a lambda, mu, nu, or rho. Those are liquid aorists. So uh, there you have that. Okay, parsing. Let's do some parsing. Um, parsing here. Um, so here we go. We've got um, epistusen. Epistusen. We're going to look at this and we're going to say, oh, that looks like pistuo, and it is pistuo. Um, the ending there, well, what do we see on there? We see we've got an augment, we got a sigma, and that we don't see the sigma alpha tense formative because this is a third person singular. Third singular, aorist, active indicative of pistuo, he believed or she believed, either way. Okay, he or she believed. All right, number two. Number two. Edzetesate, ah, gosh, edzetesate, 
Ed ze tesate. Ed ze tesate. This looks like zeteo. Zeteo. We're going to see an augment on there. Sigma alpha transformative, which tells me that we've got an aorist. So zeteo. We've got an aorist active indicative. That te tells me it's a second plural. You all, you can't say seeked. <laughs> they sought. You sought. You sought. Y'all sought. Second person plural. Okay. There we go. Let's keep going. Aelthon. Aelthon. Now here's where if you haven't memorized your vocabulary, it's going to be difficult because this verb is erkamai. Erkamai. It's a stem change. We only have a few. We've got like three right now that undergo these massive, um, not just a stem change, but a root change. Erkamai becomes aelthon. You have to memorize this because this form occurs so many times in the New Testament. So at this point, this could be either a first singular or a third plural. It's an aorist active indicative. The ending there, it's a second aorist, and it could be either a first singular or a, or a third plural. Um, so it's either I came or they came. Okay. Sometimes you'll see um, a third plural with this as an alpha new ending. And that is a third plural, but some, but it can be, it's ambiguous at this point. Okay. Let's go down to our next verb. Agenita, agenita. This is the verb ginamai. It is a second aorist because it has a stem change there. So we do not see a saw tense formative. We simply see your augment, a, a second aorist, your aorist stem, connecting vowel, and then your um, in this case, it's a middle, a second, it's a middle ending. Um, I have it listed as an opponent. It is also, we could also say a middle only. Um, so it's an aorist middle only or deponent indicative, third singular. And the way we would translate this is he became, he became. All right. A baptisos, a baptisos. This is the verb baptizo. And we can see here, here's our stem. It does not have the delta on the end because the delta drops out in front of a saw tense formative. And then we have our, our augment on there. This is an aorist active indicative. Second singular, saw sas, sen saman satasan. Second singular, and it would be you baptized. You singular baptized. All right, let's talk about this translation at the bottom here. So I'm going to zoom in just a skosh so we can kind of see where we're at. All right. Did we get that? We did. Okay. So um, here, as we go out, we can say, um, so Excel then, he went out. This is ex erkamai. He went out. Kai apel then, and he departed. This is op erkamai. Ex erkamai and op erkamai as aorists. He went out. And departed. So XL then is an aorist active indicative. Oops, move that up there. Sorry. Is an aorist active indicative, third singular from X Erkamai. From X Erkamai. So he went out and departed into a lonely top on, a lonely place. And Kake is kai ake, and there, or in that place, there in that place. Pras yuketa. Pras eyuketa. Now, pras eyuketa is pras yukamai. And pras yukamai, if we go down here to our parsing, we can see an augment on there, but it is not an aorist. This is an imperfect. Pras eyuketa. It's an imperfect, middle only or deponent indicative, and is a third singular. And so the way we inflect it is, he was praying. So interesting here, we say, he went out and departed to a lonely place, and in that place, he was praying. So aorists, aorists, simple action, but then continuous, he went out and he was praying there. Kai. And Huron, 
This is the verb heurisco. Heurisco. It has a stem change. It's a second aorist. And so this is an aorist active indicative third plural. They found him. They found him. And Legusin, they are saying to him that they're saying, what are they saying? They're saying, Pontes de tu sensei. They're saying, um, all are seeking you. Zetusin is from zeteo. This is a present. So usin here is our ending, zeteo. Um, and so as we go back to our present tense, o ace a amaneta usin, usi. Present active indicative third plural, they are seeking. So pontes zetusense, they are seeking you. So all of these, you can see each of these is worth, each of these things is worth a little, is worth a point here. So add all that up. Um, we have a total mark at the, at the top of the quiz. You can see you've got 100 possible points. So mark the number incorrect at the top. Let's say you missed seven. So you would mark 93 over 100. That's your percentage point. And then upload that, scan that and upload that into the quiz 22 and 23 assignment and that will be fantastic. Great.